We conceived of the installation as a kind of experiential painting for people riding the train. Thinking about issues of scale and time and speed that would be um, present for people riding a train that would be different than someone, let's say, looking at an exhibition in a gallery. The primary mechanism for making this painting, um, it's beyond the scale that any one human could really do. <laughs> We use an amazing equipment, which is used to actually paint huge surfaces. It's like an airless system, so it pumps the paint with pressure through a little nozzle, and the nozzle makes it like into a coarse dust. You don't touch the surface with a paintbrush. You always touch the surface and you feel it, whereas here the surfaces are so uneven, you know. They're like actually really big reliefs in a sense, so the spray is much easier to use and also get has like that swiftness. There's a team of six artists local from Philadelphia, a couple of assistants in Katerina, all working together to create one body um, in a way so that one artist um, is working as the hand while another artist is working as the eye to spray huge swaths of color in order to, to really make a mark that is scaled up to the scale of these buildings, right? As if someone could be drawing on the building, but at the appropriate scale. There are a lot of logistical challenges about how this can happen, so there's a lot of coordination of lifts and uh, ladders and all kinds of other things being deployed in order to reach these spaces. You have a very seemingly simple setup, just one color, one spray set, um, one more or less movement, let's say, from top right to left bottom somehow, you've got to go there, cover that distance. But nevertheless, there are so many things that you think of and that you meet on that way and that changes and the weather changes and the light changes and maybe the gun doesn't go as well that very moment. So you have to constantly adapt. So if you stay stiff and just do that one thing, you will never be able to kind of realize that how your conditions change and how they maybe make your thoughts different and how that maybe changes the painting again. And that is so adventurous, actually. So I do think that this kind of process of acting and thinking at the same time is super interesting. And I think that painting is a great medium to show that.